You spent five thousand dollars on my credit card today when you promised yesterday when you promised you spent sixteen hundred. So you've not apologized either. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I Great. Apologize. So how do I get my money back, babe? How do I get my money back? I'll take the bag back. Great. There you go. Where's the bag? Own your car. So give me the bag with the receipt. We'll take it back tomorrow. I really hope you guys are prepared for this tea because this is the funniest thing you'll ever witness in your entire life. Despite what people were commenting on this viral TikTok doing the rounds, this man is not her father. He's her sugar daddy. Yeah, people were shocked when they found this out. That's $3,100. Yeah? Okay, can you give me the $1,000? Whoa, 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 whoa. And the Balenciagas because your mother has not said thank you. Sure. Me. Okay. That oh. was replacement for a two thousand dollar scarf that got stolen. Okay. Well, so that's fine, babe. I'm going to cancel your mum's return flight home. So no, she's you're gonna, not. Oh, she's going to pay for herself. No, you're not. Oh, fuck if I am. No, Joe you're says not. thank you Why very you much. Oh, your you're mother not. got a sixteen hundred dollar present yesterday and didn't say thank you, James. That makes her either she stupid, ill-mannered, you. uneducated, she or a moron. Maybe she's told you thank you. No, she told But you didn't pay for it. Right no, she didn't. No, she didn't, babe. No, she yes, didn't. she did. She said thank you. No, she didn't, sweetheart. Yes, she did. Okay. Maybe she did. Maybe I'm wrong. So you, you decide. You either sit in the blue chair or you leave. So there's this TikTok couple, Brittany and James. They're an age gap couple. They are a sugar daddy slash sugar baby couple. So they're clearly in an arrangement of sorts, doing their thing, but they're publicizing not only their relationship, but their arguments. And they're secretly like going on live and filming each other, trying to call each other out because they're having disputes about money. What makes it even weirder is that Brittany, who obviously looks to be in her early to mid twenties, made her sugar daddy fly her mom out to come hang out with them or whatever. I think they're living in Queensland. But yeah, shit is going down. It's intense. They're going viral at the moment because Britney spent thousands behind James's back and he flipped his shit and it's getting worse. She's live streaming up behind his back and then he's acting like a power tripper. He's very gaslighty, a little bit manipulative. He literally forced her to make an apology, or at least that's what it looks like. And he was getting all this backlash for his response to her taking his credit card and going on a full Balenciaga shopping spree. But regardless of all this, I gotta say I'm kind of siding with him and it appears so is the rest of the internet because although he may be her sugar daddy she went behind his back and spent up like thousands of dollars when she was given a set allowance. I don't think she thought that he would care but he obviously did and is literally making her return all of her Balenciaga stuff. But what makes it so crazy is that people are convinced that this was her father because she was acting like a whiny brat, having like a tantrum on live stream and the fact that he brought brought up her mother as well. The fact that her mother is there with them just makes it so much more weirder. That's why people are so confused as to whether or not that was like his daughter or his girlfriend. How very weird. So if you think tea spill on YouTube is intense, wait till you watch Australian tea spill. It's on another fucking level. This TikTok account found clips and recorded live streams from this micro-influencer couple who are now blowing up at an exponential rate overnight. And like the tea is just getting hotter and hotter. It's so weird. People are calling James very controlling and there's no doubt he is a bit of a power tripper. There's mixed opinions on this whole drama so let's deep dive and expose the juiciest parts of this TikTok tea. So at the start of this video we saw the viral live stream of them arguing and her crying about having to return $5,000 worth of designer bags. Apparently they have a 35 year age gap. So after that clip of their dispute about the $5,000 spent on his credit card, she was publicly humiliated. Her ego was destroyed and I think his was too. So she secretly live streamed her and her mom having a big old argument with James. But you promised, you said if the party is shit, I'll come home. Obsessive. It's not obsessive. It it's a, a sweetheart. He has it's phone like Richard. Her. Richard says, I'll be why home for dinner at 7 pm. A phone on her. her I'll, thing. I'll be home. Why do you home? track her? Why did you she have a tracking me. device on her car? She tracks me. No, you track me. And you track me. Yeah, Maybe because... Find my phone, you'll see me, James. I have no secrets. Where yeah, you? because you, you made me put find my iPhone I'll on. I'll delete it, babe. I don't give a f Let's delete each other. Yeah, right now. Let's just delete each other. Fine with me, sweetheart. <laughs> I literally don't care. Find my iPhone. Brits. Hang on a sec. 
Oops, why Brett's delete. There you go, not tracked anywhere. Anyway. I just think there's I just think there's something wrong in the world. I can't rely on someone's word. That's it, Tony. That's well, it. That's all I'm saying. She can't, obviously can't rely on your word. Obviously, Tony. Mm. No. Obviously, and based on what? Nothing. Based on That's the fine. fact that you invited Mia over. Oh, so and now stop using that as an excuse. But, but well, stop using your Stop your using your shoes. I'm not using any excuse. Yeah. It's today. She promised me $1,600 for your fucking shoes. She spent five grand. That's lying. If you don't understand that, you, no one understands it. But she, I thought it was going to be okay. Oh, well, that was your mistake, wasn't it? After all the other times when I ripped into you, you don't learn. So, what? Do you think she's going to get over cheating overnight? I didn't cheat on her, baby. Well, you did. That's cheating. Uh, 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 uh. No, did not cheat. Why do you go, ah, 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 ah? Because I didn't it's cheat. It's so patronising. I didn't cheat. It, don't talk to my mother like that. I didn't that. cheat. What you, is she saying? I cheated. I didn't cheat. You invited a female okay. over here mm -hmm. to drink with you. She was in our bedroom. She stole my stuff. She went to the bathroom. She stole your bag. I saw her steal your bag. I took it out. I said, oh, you got to go. You can't take that. Oh, but Brittany doesn't love you. Okay, you don't steal. That's Brittany's bag. Took the bag, said, I'm going to order you a newbie. you got to go home. That was it. That was it, babe. Yeah, and another girl sending you the other day on your phone. Babe, have you seen how many blocked contacts I've got since I put my phone number yeah, on? Yeah, so how many new been sent? That was the first one. And what did I do when I got it? I just went, oh, look what I just got. I showed you straight away. No, you tried to lie about it. You tried try to and... say it was Andy. So I'm happy to talk to you, Brittany, but I'm done with your mother. I'm sorry, but Tony. You can go back to New Zealand as far as I'm concerned. Done. Yeah. Well, you're just, you're from a different nice. place, different education. You don't understand. All I'm doing is sticking up for my daughter. I know, but you you're not acknowledging. Say. You're not acknowledging I, basic things. Oh my God, did things. I not acknowledge? Yeah, I had to ask for it. Yes, <laughs> you did. Why do you need to keep tabs on her every second? I don't need to anymore, It's baby. very obsessive. It's okay, Tony. Your daughter... And got angry because she was asleep and didn't answer Look, the phone. Look, all, all I want is a calm, But nice that's a constant exit. thing. That's the problem. Tony, stop talking. You're not helping yourself. You're just like, you You are, you're coming from what she's told you about me, yeah? No. You're, no, 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 go and, go and witness. speak to Rory. Hey. Go and speak to Bridget. Go and speak to She him. was asleep. I saw her. Go and it. speak to some of these other people. Up. Her friends. Go and speak to her friends about me. I've seen messages. I, no, oh, they all, they all hate you. They no, cannot they don't. stand really? you. Really? Apart from Bridget and Rory. Really? They all can't stand really? you. Really? So what we got to do is work out how you leave the house, how you leave the house, orderly, kind, but let's be sweet, let's be civil. Excuse me, you don't know what I've said to her before. <laughs> Behind me. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing in front of you. No, nothing. I'm going to say nothing. That's fine. Oh, that's Doesn't matter. Much. Go back to wood in. Don't mock my mum. No, it's fine, sweetheart. I don't care anymore. I just like, you I've got my boundaries. You I've don't got my standards. care about your standards of yourself, <laughs> clearly. Oh, no, I, do. I do. No, you wouldn't be acting like this in front of my mother if you cared about me. Your mother and I come from very different places. I respect you. No drama whatsoever. Both I understand why you're protecting your daughter. Out. I just don't understand why it's not just a tad more balanced. Because whatever she's told you about me, whatever she said, throw it out the water. You just should, as I'm telling, just as I'm throwing. Can I just finish a fucking you? sentence without you interrupting? Yeah. Just as I'm, just as I'm throwing everything she's told me about you mm. out the water, because she's told me hey, I'm, I'm horrendous things. I have not. Oh, you have. She James obviously found out that she was secretly live streaming him and he flipped his shit and he made her film an apology. Well, at least that's what it looked like. People were saying it looked like she was being held at ransom to make this fake ass apology. I am sorry for going live on TikTok um, without James's knowledge and recording our fight. That was wrong of me. She was probably thinking, hurry up, get this over and done with so I can go out shopping again. So a few days prior to this drama, when Brittany's mum had been initially flown out to come and stay with them, they all sat down and went live about their age gap relationship. And it was just so wild. It was incredibly awkward to watch. Here are a few snippets from that live. Our relationship. 
Wow, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty uncomfortable about it, but um, it's not really the age gap, it's more the character of the person that I'm concerned about, so as long as Brittany is safe and happy, it's my main concern. Definitely want to know why Brit talks slow slash slurs speech. No hate, genuinely curious. So, so I wear Invisaligns. Um, and they make me slur and I'm also on medication that makes me a little bit slow mm -hmm. like here are my Invisaligns they're not in at the moment though they're not in at the moment so my sl <coughs> slurring is just my lack of tongue movement if I was poor would you still be with me? yes no, I've not always dated younger women, absolutely not. My ex-wife was exactly the same age as me. Um, and then when I moved up to uh, Queensland and uh, was single, I dated a wide range of ages, uh, majority around my own age. But some of them honestly had one foot in the grave and they were a little bit boring. So uh, I like to keep things exciting and moving and um, blah, 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 blah. I so move no. a lot. Yeah, Brittany moves a lot, certainly keeps things interesting. Now listen, Miranda, I'm not sure what your problem is. She says, anyone noticing James pulling the chair closer to him when Brittany's mum tries to sit closer to her? Well, what I'm doing, Miranda, is Brittany's mother was starting to get out of frame a little like this. And I was just trying to make sure we all squashed in. So I pulled Brittany's chair a bit closer and then I signaled under the table yeah, to Brittany's mother like this. Come closer. You see? So that's what you noticed. Well picked up. They don't miss a trick. <laughs> they don't miss a trick. Well, what's the first opinions of each other? So your first opinion of me yeah. when we met at the airport and mine of you. So you can go first. Very attractive, I would have thought. I mean... A little bit skeptical, but yeah. um, you know. Sure. I'm protective. <laughs> yeah, my first opinion of you was probably. Well, she looks young. Yeah. Yeah, you do look young. What does Mum think of James? Well, it's only been 24 hours, so. She loves him. <laughs> <laughs> can I make an assumption over 24 hours? <laughs> yeah, she can make an assumption. Well. So far, is it good or not? Well, you've made a good impression so far. Yeah, so far. Yeah, so far. Ask me in 10 days. Does Brick's mum approve? Um, well, if you are happy and you're safe, then I approve. Their accounts were kind of hard to find, not gonna lie. I think it's because they're still kind of taking off. But anyway, I'll leave them both linked down below. People are commenting all over TikTok asking if Brittany is okay or if she needs any help. It's very weird. Someone else said, no amount of money or handbags will buy back these precious years. Run. So what are your thoughts on this wild TikTok age gap sugar daddy slash sugar baby couple? Do you think they'll last? Or more importantly, do you think that this was all a PR stunt to get followers? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.